Good morning, everybody. Wonderful morning it is. Happy Tuesday morning. Happy Tuesday morning. It is time for morning manna. Time for morning manna. Got a word for you on this morning. You know, this week we're in this whole series that we kind of bounce or spring load it from Sunday about greater together. And today I'm going to deal with pillow talk. Today I'm going to deal with pillow talk. We're talking about relationships this week. We're talking about relationships this week. So it's time for Morning Manor, and you already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you the text to talk and the takeaway. This is what you got to do. You got to begin sharing now. You got to begin having watch parties and you got to give the hearts and the light. We both got a cooperation here in this man of fam. I got something to do. You got something to do. So let's get with it. I want to get right into this morning's manna. Uh, and we're talking about pillow talk. Pillow talk. Here's the text. It is Ecclesiastes 4.11. Here is Solomon talking. You know, we're dealing with this soul, this same pericope, this little same section of scripture. And uh, we're going to be unf uh, unpacking it. We're going to be exegeting it and giving some good hermeneutics for it, uh, for you can have some application this week. So let's deal with pillow talk. Here's the text. Ecclesiastes 4.11. If two lie down together, they will keep warm. But if one lies down, they will not be able to keep warm. Hear the word. They're all alone. If two lies down together, they'll be able to keep warm. But if one, how can one be warm all alone? Here you go. Here's the, here's the talk about this text. Remember we said, here is Solomon at the end of his life talking about relationships. Here is a man that has had 700 wives. Clearly, he knows something about relationships or at least what he would want it to be. So here he says, now if two folk lay down or lie down together, then they can keep warm. But if one person, what is he talking about here? He's talking about boundaries and he's talking about creating intimacy. He's talking about creating intimacy. Now let's break down this word intimacy. Intimacy is into me you see. Into me you see. Roberta Flack, uh, uh, Dion Warwick. Dion Warwick. Let me get my let me get my um, my um, song uh, singers right here. Uh, Dion Warwick says. The closer I get to you, the more you make me feel. Yeah, the closer I get to you, the more you make me feel. By giving you all I've got, your love has captured me. Here it is. Here it is. Three things I want to talk about this morning with respect to this text where Solomon is saying clearly two folk can keep warm together. One person is going to be cold. This is talking about some pillow talk. Intimacy. First thing, how do you create intimacy? Here it is. The first thing is communication. Communication. Did you not know that words are your aspirations captured in letters? Words are your desires captured in letters. Words are where you want to go captured in letters. Words communicate your heart. If I can take a moment and just speak to all the ladies, all the ladies, all the single ladies, all the married ladies, whatever the case may be. You are drawn into being intimate with someone by your words. You already know. You already know. You can be intimate and never be physical. You can be intimate and never be physical. You can be physical and never be intimate. It's a wonderful thing when both of them come together. But here is the deal. You've got to understand, ladies in particular, you love words. And when you give your words away, you are giving all of your ideas, your aspirations, uh, all of the things that you really want to happen. And that draws you in to becoming intimate. Do you not realize you can have an affair and never, ever, be physical. 
Why? Because you shared words. So pillow talk is creating intimacy. And I'm not just talking about something sexual. Whenever you share words, in particular ladies, you are drawn closer in to someone. So into me you see begins with the words that I share. All right, that's the pillow talk. Here's the second thing with pillow talk. Second thing is this, communion. Communication, communion. Communion, that word communion means is that we're gonna share something in unity. There is something that is unifying us. There is something that brings us to the table. We're gonna have communion, okay? You already know, first Sunday of the, of the month, you generally have what? Communion, what do you share? You share the table, you share the bread, you share the fruit of the vine. And Jesus says, as often as you do this, guess what? You do it and remember of me. You put me back together with you because we are sharing something in union. You got to be mindful that when you are having pillow talk, when you are being intimate, when you are sharing in communication, there is something there that brings you together. Third thing is this, commitment, commitment. You know, you need to put a ring on it. <laughs> That's the bottom line. If you're going to be intimate with someone, and I'm not just talking about sex. I'm not even talking about marriage. We got to have some commitment. I'm not going to just come into, I'm not going to permit you into my boundaries. I'm not going to let you get into this space where my pillow is. And your pillow is not just in a bedroom. Your pillow is wherever you choose to have communion, wherever you choose to have communication and wherever you choose to be committed. Those are the places where there is some pillow talk. So how do you manage that? Because here it is, here's your takeaway. And it's a little long, but I want you to get it. Solomon is clearly saying, I have lacked this. I wanted it. I've never gotten it. Clearly, I, I have looked for it. Because I'm saying to you that two keep each other warm. And I've been looking for some warmth all my life. And I never found it. Never found it. I realize, one, you're going to stay cold. So then he is saying, and I am saying, that the word is saying that there is always a need for you to have pillow talk. You just got to make sure that there is a filter around the pillow that you're laying your head on. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you, give you peace. Make sure when you have pillow talk today, there is some communication. There is some commitment. There is some communion. The Lord be with you. May his face shine upon you, give you peace. I got more of this tomorrow. Good morning, man. Share the matter. Bye now.